guys ready to make the magic happen? All right, boys, let's do this. Agua Sampha, Agua Sampha, showtime. Hey, Flash, give me a go, no go for launch. In the pipe, five by five. Word, gotta go talk to the big guy. P, sit rep. We're in the green. Deck is queued, first break in six minutes. We are go in five, four, three, two. Everybody. Hello, what guys. What is going on? Uh, welcome to the what episode is this today? Episode four. Oh, this is the fourth episode this of Nerds of the, the Decade. This is the fourth episode of Nerds of the Decade. And we got a big one, don't we, dude? Yes, this is going to be a pretty crazy, uh, pretty crazy episode for the podcast. Uh, so, um, if you guys didn't know, uh, you probably know what we're going to be talking about. In fact, in fact, dude, this might even give it away for our audience about what we're going to be talking about. I'm going to play yeah, this. Let, 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 oh, let, dude, let's... make sure our drivers are, the audience can hear us. Oh, don't uh, worry. I so, think we're good. Ready, guys? Here it goes. Let's go. Mercy, end of at once. I love that. <laughs> I like that, dude. The thing I always do when I play this uh, preview is I always be like, at uh, the beginning, where it's just like, uh, we uh, won't be intimidated by criminal threat. <laughs> I always, that's how, like, oh, man, dude, that's every actually time, my favorite part. Dude, dude, every time I play that track, right, the, from the artist who does the music, right, to that particular track, it's called, um, oh, it is called. What is the dang track name called? Um, I have it on my Spotify here. Let me look. I forgot it just now. It was in my brain and I just forgot it. But it is called. The track is called uh, Might as Well, Step, Might as well Step, forward. Step Forward. Yeah, every time I hear. RJD2. Yes, all, every time I hear that track by. what Dude, who's the artist's name? Oh, yeah, RJD2. Uh, RJD2. Yes. Every time I hear that track by RJD2, I always in my head, and also someone's out loud, I'll say to myself, you know, that, that, that first thing, it's just like, we won't hey, be oh, intimidated we, by yeah, criminal no, threats. Exactly. We won't be intimidated by criminal threat. By criminal threat. Yep. Exactly. Um, so, guys, if you were just wondering. That's what we're going to be. What we're going to be topic. talking about. Uh, and in classic tsunami fashion, Dante. Uh, tsunami fashion, Dante. Let's get started. So you know I have a really oh, good yeah. uh, opening sequence for the audience right now, and I'm going to do a little bit more on the volume here, just a tiny bit more, just so. Yeah, just a tiny bit more. Tiny you know, bit just more. To... So here is, of course, here's one of the openings I was going to play, but I think I'm going to do the. I think I'm going to do the classic since everybody hates the. Tom five, or at least everyone didn't like, or Tom six. I'm sorry. No, um, I'm not gonna say they hate it. It's yeah. just something that that's gonna take some a little getting used yeah. to. Yeah. So maybe we'll do that at the end. Yeah. But uh, here we go. Let's go, guys. Here it goes. Oh, I got it, dude. I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. I got it. Don't worry okay, about gotcha. it. Okay, got I can get it from here. Um, so, dude, in classic tsunami fashion, uh, remember this Dante from the '90s? Oh yeah, I remember. In fact, I think I was actually still living yep i was about like nine or ten when this came out really wow yep, about nine or ten years old i'm actually gonna take my headphones off dante because i don't feel like i need them yeah right now for this episode i'm gonna take them down yeah go for it man um so yeah dude um you were dude how old were you for this one? Oh man i was i think i was about like nine or ten when i first heard this wow you were nine or ten but yeah Dang. i will never i will never forget it neither will i dude it was the it was it brings back a lot of memories uh, in fact everything everything from tsunami that you hear uh in this actually in this podcast will probably bring back memories yeah it'll probably definitely bring back that nostalgia factor dude speaking of nostalgia yeah I was do, you, do you remember do you remember the original broadcast, like the first broadcast? So that's funny you say that because there's actually there's actually on YouTube you can find a video of Toonami's very first broadcast. In fact, we might even have it, Dante, because we, I know you had given us you had downloaded a couple clips with one of the Moltar clips was actually the first broadcast. It has the oh, first yeah. broadcast on there. God rest his soul, man. Yep. So remember this old Cartoon Network clip? And this remember this dude? Oh yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, man. The, the Sarah, Dante, remember Sarah? Yeah, I do. Yeah, the back in the day. Know. So, dude, uh, let's get into our tsunami talk. Because so, yeah, yeah, definitely. You did a whole, Dante, remember, we did a whole thing on our... In, on our yeah, blog page, fact, of, yeah, it was it's called page. Tunami Legacy, yep, we which did. is the history of Tunami. It's really everything about Tunami, uh, up until Tom. What is it? Tom, up until about the more, Tom, Tom, about Tom five. Tom five. 5. Yeah. I know I still got to update it, but yeah, no. we, we got to we got all the way up to like Tom five. Which which was like right before it's before he dies because he dies. Right, and, right, yeah, right yeah, before the newer the, um, stuff. And then it's Tom Six, which yep. is the newer version of Tom. The now. one that kind of looks like Daft Punk? Yes, the one that reminds you of Daft Punk. Or yeah. it looks like the love child of Daft Punk. Yeah, correct. So, yeah, it's up to that point. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, it's... Uh, but, dude, uh, what what, did, what was your main thing that you wanted to talk about, Dante? With yeah, I, I think... I kind of um, wanted to get into old versus new, the OG versus oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, because that's a big thing that fans are going to talk about. People love this nostalgia factor right. that... Tsunami had back in the day uh, and I remember you were saying something to me Dante before we started this about balance where t you felt like Tsunami didn't have the balance it did back well, in the 90s I'm from, I'm, well actually when I was uh, when I was growing up back in like 2001 2002 um, I remember watching Tom 2 yeah. like right around that time and this was actually you know like right around the time when DBZ was you know like really getting you know, we're like really getting into the popularity factor. Like this was actually a year before Naruto came over here. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, back in Tom 2, I definitely remember watching like the original programming block. This actually came out like right before I got you home mean, to school. You, you, mean, you remember watching but, Tom 1, right? Right. The original Tom, the small version. Of right. It, it was, um, yeah, yeah. the block that came on was like the uh, afternoon block. It was like between four and seven. Yeah, well, there's also a five o'clock block. Right. Like five to five till right, seven. There, right, there were yeah. like, yeah, there there's was like different, different blocks. blocks. Yeah. Um, but dude, you were telling me that one of your favorites was the Midnight Run. That's what uh, you were yeah. telling me. I, I think um, it wasn't until Oh man, I'm trying to remember. Actually, you know, the the mid the midnight run out of all the blocks that I watched. That wasn't until like twelve o'clock. It was until that wasn't until yeah. That midnight. was that was uh, that, that was a, that was yeah. It started Saturday. From um, midnight till six a.m. Midnight to six a.m. And dude, they played shows like Dragon Ball Z, and like oh, oh dude, yeah. all the action shows. You, you Gundam. Show. They played a lot of Gundam. Um, the Garlic Junior Saga they aired. At one I remember. Point. The but Garlic that was Jr. that was during the Rising Sun though. Yep. That was during the morning. That was during like the Saturday yeah. morning block. So. But, but uh, uh, yeah, they, they they basically had shows like Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, they had a lot of classics. Course. And so the other thing I was going to mention was that back in those days, dude, when you did the daytime stuff, that was before Toonami had really control over their own, um, what they put on their network because adult, because they weren't really, they were just getting started. So right. they didn't really have much control over or what, or enough say over uh, what, when, what shows they aired. Cartoon Network had more say in the matter. So... Uh, some shows they had to air, they didn't have a choice to. But once they got larger, and this is directly from uh, from Demarco himself, because he right. covers this in an actual uh, an actual review, uh, actual Q and A, I think, on YouTube. You can listen to him talk about this. Yeah, if you get a was, chance, guys, yeah. definitely check it out. Um, so they actually tell you that they didn't have too much control over some things. They had to air stuff because that's what Cartoon Network wanted to uh, wanted them to air, and also it had to do with being kid friendly and approaching the audience, the young audience. Um, in a manner where it was appropriate for that audience, right. you know. Whereas now, dude, they're because they're on Adult Swim right now. Toonami can play more adult. Yeah, yeah, they content. can, they can, they can up the content because they know that their fan base is a little bit older. But you know something, dude? I feel like when you listen to these old reels from the '90s, right, and you hear just how nostalgic and how awesome it sounded, there is something to both Steve Bloom. Right, the way he does things, and also Peter, the the, the indescribable Peter Collin. Peter Collin, who is and don't the forget announcer. about Sonny Strait, who was and, like the uh, Tom. Two. Yeah, Sonny Strait was originally the first Tom, I believe. Yeah, and Tom Two was Steve Bloom, I believe. If I remember. So yeah, it was like two and a half, and then it upgraded to three. yeah to three. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, but um, but yeah, it was, but yeah, dude. I mean, there was something, and dude, you know something? I could watch these promos over and over and over, and over, and over again. again. Yeah, there is like, yeah, something about it was just... Yeah. You know. And dude, I, that's kind of what I wanted to get into in the podcast. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It, but I think right off the bat, yeah. two of my favorite programming blocks were The Rising Sun and yeah. Midnight Run. Because I mean, with The Midnight Run, you got like 12 shows, you got six hours, 
Yeah. Usually you put on like the good shows first, like Cowboy Bebop, Big O. Yeah, Outlaw um, Star. Outlaw Star. Oh, that was that was a good one. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Tenchi Tenchi Universe. Ten, ten, yeah, well, it was yeah Tenchi Universe. You also had Yu Yu Hakusho eventually on there. Yep. And what Inuyasha. Else? Yeah, Inuyasha was pretty awesome. Um, yeah, Gundam. They played oh, some yeah. Gundam stuff. Gundam Wing, G Gundam. Yeah. And I, I thought I thought there was like a, a Gundam. Was there a Gundam like that? There's Gundam Wing. No, there's Gundam Wing, Mobile Suit Gundam, and G Gundam. Right, the, right. Ones. They did play. Um, they did play another one. It was not. It was not. Uh, it was. Gun, it was. Um, shoot, I can't remember the number. And don't forget, it was, was, yeah. was also. It wasn't '86. It was a different one. It was another number. I can't remember what was it, it was. Endless, what, wait, well, Endless Waltz. They did air. I remember that. Yeah, they yeah, did yeah. air that one. Yeah. So. Yep, I, I definitely remember. But, oh, uh, dude. Yeah, dude. We, we, we did is the, the, the thing. It's oh, like, okay. are, are, are we going to dance or fight? I love that. Oh, yeah, that was... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, let's that, get that's it basically on. basically like... So, guys, being a, being a DBZ fan, both of us, we remember watching the original... Here, here, dude, just bring back memories. Don't even try. Oh, yeah. Right. Final time. I like that. So, dude, if you guys don't know, we actually have the Toonami Pro... Uh, we have a screen in front yeah, of us. We yeah, can actually yeah, see yeah, stuff. Yeah, that, yeah um, we do. We, 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 I would let you guys, I might show it uh, eventually uh, to bring back some nostalgia at the end of my show. But remember this, dude? This is one of my favorite parts, I oh, think. Yeah. So again, guys, you can actually find these on YouTube. The, you these can. are awesome. Someone strung all these together on YouTube. Oh, yeah. But Jan Uchi had sent off the so, yeah, if you're, if you're a ten hard, times. If you're a hardcore Tsunami <laughs> fan, you can definitely find He's all crazy. Of these on I love it. Yeah. So much stronger than anyone I've ever faced before, but I know there's still a way to win. I love that. Yeah. It can never be destroyed. Anyway. Oh yeah. Kind of like what we're doing, Dante, right? I know, right? <laughs> anyway. But yeah, dude. There you go. I mean, there was actually some. Uh, there was you actually some other shows that also heard as well. Yeah. Heat up big time, sorry straight. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, and let's get it started. on. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh yeah. So yeah. So dude, um, tell me some Dante. Uh, let's go into like the new tsunami now. Oh yeah. Because like we're bringing up a lot of nostalgia with the That's old true. one, which I was sure, sure fans of that grew up watching it like we did. But there was but, but, but there were some also other shows that uh, came up through tsunami. So like, they did like SD Gundam, and they did like a bunch of other ones too. And then if you go up, and if you go up the chain, you'll also got Samurai FL Jack. Oh yeah, FLCO. Samurai Jack, FLCO. Yeah. Justice League, yep, Justice, Justice League. League Unlimited, and Batman Beyond during their during their day block. Yep. They did, they yeah, they, yeah, they, they oh, this was like this. No, mind you, they did the Tony totally Spies, which is a weird show. Yeah, I'm not really sure. <laughs> that doesn't really. I don't know if that qualifies as anime technically, because it's not really made in Japan. It's made here. Oh, dude, so. there was also um, Zatch Bell was also part. Oh, Zatch Bell is cool. I remember that's an old. That takes me. And also, uh, Mare, the Prince yep. of Tennis, and they did what's the other one? Uh, uh, Nick, um, Haru no Go? Yes, Haru no Go, yes. And they did, what was the other one? They, there's one other one. They did uh, Monster Hunter at one point. I oh, dude, they also had uh, Month of Miyazaki, remember? Yep, yeah, that was yeah. Cool. I, I, I remember the that They films. had all of Miyazaki's classics. So they did a, there's a lot of nostalgia in the original. They also did movies, remember? Yep. Uh, the movie with Bardock. Yeah, they did, yeah, they did yeah. all the DBZ movies. Yeah, which is cool. Even though they weren't canon, a lot of them. <laughs> depending, on, depending on who you ask and how you look at it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but dude, what, so let's go into the new one, Dante. The two so yeah, the, the newer ones. Well, and what's wrong with it, dude? Let's go into that. Well, I'm not gonna say that there's a whole lot wrong with it, but I think there's a misbalance somewhere. There but is. Uh, I know you got new shows like Sao. Well, SAO so was also I know you were telling me that you felt like, and, and I kind of get the feeling too that the Toonami now is focusing on their new fans trying to cater like to a newer new generation. people, yeah, new generation coming in. Which I understand why they're doing that, because they want people to keep watching. They want the new generation right. to keep watching, they want to keep it around. But I also feel like you're right in saying that they need to have uh, some balance. There needs to be a balance between between both new and old. You gotta have yeah. you gotta air yeah, some so you're old able shows to, you know, kinda too. Kind of you like know. balance out, you know, different generations. Because, other, I mean, you got us. Otherwise, you'll lose your older fan base, right, dude? Right. Because, I mean, for for if, if it was my choice, and again, I think we might have talked about this uh, all fair a while back. Yeah. But I think if it was my choice, if for some reason they're able to bring back uh, that hardcore element yeah. of the midnight run. Because yeah. I know right now, the Toonami right now only has about four hours, which means they're only able to 
like put in eight different shows. Yeah, it's only from like twelve to four. I yeah, think, it's, right it's only now. twelve so to four. So I mean, the lineup, you know, right? Well, I know right now. Yeah. The, the newest show that just made it to the lineup is um, the Inuyasha follow-up, Yashihime. Yeah, yeah, which is actually pretty good. And that's like the only, so it's funny because they have a, their newest commercial, Chami's latest preview, right, promo, yeah. says, you know, it you know, feels somehow nostalgic. And, I, and every time it comes on, I'm like, no, it doesn't feel nostalgic because well, the only show that's nostalgic is Yashihime, which is the, the kind of the telling, the retelling or the or the part of Inuyasha that was not told, the part of the story that wasn't told, right. which is the younger half of it, the younger, the... the you, know, you, you got, you got yeah. uh, Inuyasha siblings. Yeah, yeah, so the, and that's like that's like the siblings, the next generation for Inuyasha. Um, that's the only thing that feels kind of nostalgic because you still get to see Inuyasha and some of the other characters you're Yeah, I, I mean, you get to see so, all the, really, well, they, most of all the characters like, always, that you remember watching back Yeah, in the it's day. like I always say, no, it doesn't feel that nostalgic because we're well, all I mean, nostalgic shows. Well, I mean, <laughs> it, Where's it, the nostalgia factor? It kind of left. They got rid of it. Well, um, no, it could be a little more, but you know. Now I will say this, okay? To Toonami's credit, and this is giving credit to the people behind Toonami. It's still the same people doing Toonami that right. originally did it. The thing I will give them credit for is on Instagram, they do air and they do show all of the original promos from back in the '90s are up. Even the game reviews right. are up on Instagram, so they are trying at least. You know. Yeah, they are. I, they, they, I think that they are definitely, you know still trying to hold on to the original fan base that's been around since day one while at yeah. the same time catering to new fans but, but i do i do feel like dude there could be there could be some there could, I could think, be room for improvement i think know? for them if yeah. they're able and this is a big this is a big deal if they're able to bring back yeah some that of the, midnight run style block yes where you have six hours instead of four yeah. what that'll do that'll is, actually give them more slots for more shows True. And if they're able to balance, or if they're able to rerun a lot of the old shows like Cowboy, put the, Cowboy Bebop. Like for me, if Dragon Ball, the like, original DBZ, dude. Remember the Funimation dub? Not, Dragon not, Ball Z? not the Kai. Not, not, <laughs> not Kai. Kai. Yes, the original. But Funimation the original dub, where it yes. takes like eight, ten episodes for Goku to and, power up to Super Saiyan three. <laughs> yeah, where he's like, and this is to go even, even further, further beyond. beyond. Ah. Yeah. Oh, here, dude. Wait, here. While we're talking about that, okay. Just and you're probably me, gonna go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I, just give I, some. I just give our audience some nostalgia factor. Do you remember? Do you remember? So you guys probably know this because I have this on Spotify so I'm sure you guys remember the music at the end of Super Saiyan 3 it's a nostalgic tune from yeah and of course shout, shout out up. to uh, shout out to Bruce Faulkner yes Bruce Faulkner shout out because he does the original music so remember this at the end of Super Saiyan 3 right that, that it's called Hyperbolic the Time Hyperbolic Chamber Hyperbolic Time Chamber it's like right near the end yeah right at the end right as Goku reaches Super Saiyan 3 we'll play a piece of it yep yep that's right there. Yep. Right where so. he turns Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> yep. So, guys, you want to hear the music from Super Saiyan 3 or any of the Dragon Ball Z stuff, look up on Spotify. Look up Bruce Faulkner. All yeah, the music is yeah, there. All the music is up there. Bruce, um, so, I'm not going to play much because we don't want to get copyright striked, of course. <laughs> so, there's Super yeah. Saiyan 3 if you're wondering. Yep. That's SSJ. Ah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> In fact, dude, you know what? Wait a minute. Hold a minute. Wait. Oh, if you want to go Super Saiyan, wait a minute. We got a surprise. We didn't tell everybody this, did we? Hold on, dude. Let me go to our, uh, okay, go to our file. You, we didn't tell got? people what this. Um, so you you, are you ready, Dante, to actually uh, to embrace the Dragon Ball Z lifestyle and to be a super nerd? <laughs> That's what I well, thought. Dude, super both of us are already super nerds. Come on, man. All right. So, dude, here. I, I will embrace. I will. I will. We're going to embrace the nerd factor here. Okay? Yeah, turn that bad boy and to 11. And we have a surprise for you guys. So let me go into the DNA file here. And it's under... Uh, is... You got it. It's, it's under... Are you under... ready? Oh, notifications. I got it. Okay. All right, all right. So we're going to the DBZ file here, and we got a surprise. Dante, uh, let me know when you're ready, and I will cue the Super Saiyan. Yeah, go um, ahead. I'm ready. I'm ready do you want for me it. To, do you want the music behind you, or do you just want the sound effect? Dude, just give me the sound effect. I'm cool. Okay, so let's do... Um, All right, hold on. Let me. Let me well, I'm here. Power up see if notification. I okay, you ready, okay. Dante? You only turn to make sure the volume's up. Yeah, make, so make sure get ready. ready, guys. Dante's about to go Super Saiyan. Okay. So ready? All right, go for it. Yeah. All right, dude. Okay, I think I did it. You want to cue the Kamehameha? <laughs> All right. All right. Come on, dude, you and I'll do it together. Ready? Come on. I'm ready, ready for it, man. I'm ready for it. Oh. Do it towards the camera, Dante. (laughs) 
<laughs> oh, anyway, so guys, that is our little surprise uh, to you guys and our little tribute to Toonami and to oh, yeah, Dragon and Ball and Z. And all the greatness that is, that is, that is given us. Yep. Um, so, but, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean... And, dude, remember this? I'm sure yeah, our yeah, fan yeah. base will love this. Ready, guys? I, I did a tribute to this uh, on Instagram. You pull that Ready? Up. What's his power level? <laughs> It's over 9,000! 9,000? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. a tribute to the old fan base and to Toonami. Uh, Sony and uh, Funimation, you better not uh, I th copyright strike us. I, th I, th I, th I think we're good. I, I think we're good. Um, I, I think we're good. So anyway, so yeah, guys, if that doesn't bring back some nostalgia, uh, and if that doesn't if make that you... that doesn't bring back the nostalgia, nothing will. If that doesn't make you want to watch Tsunami all over again and relive your childhood, I don't know what Relive would. your childhood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, the memories. So anyway, dude, uh, what, so anyway, dude, let's get more into... Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. Go back into Tsunami. Oh, and dude, and, and, and as much as you and I would probably hate having to relive that moment... Yeah. And as much as, you know, a lot of old school Toonami fans hate having to relive that moment. Yeah. Do you remember the day when Tom gave us his farewell speech? Oh, dude, you, you were talking about, yo, you're talking about this. Wait a minute, Dante. Hold on, wait, I have that. You're yeah, about, it was on, honestly, you're talking about this oh one my here. gosh. Well, remember this? This is the end, yep. beautiful friends. I remember. Yeah, dude, I remember this, Dante. It was kind of sad. But that was the version of Tom that everyone didn't like, remember? That's when he had the eyes and the uh, and yeah. natural face. Um, which I kind of liked the version of him with just the helmet. That was my favorite version of him. Bang. Done by the incomparable Steve Bloom. <laughs> the awesome. Yes, the legendary. Yeah, Whom we've Bloom. met. Yeah. Remember this one, Dante? Do you remember this? So this is the opening to... Do you remember the opening to that? With this? I kind of liked it, though. I liked oh, what yeah, Tom I said. Yeah, wait, 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 let's make the magic happen. Yeah. And I liked the music. But the the version of Tom they had was not great. <laughs> yeah, I've heard, a lot, I've heard a lot of fans say that uh, Tom Ford wasn't exactly his best look. Make the magic because happen, he yeah. kind of looked a little right, cheap. Yes, he did, yeah. And he, there's Can't nothing to it. Together? Yeah, there was like nothing like to a it. Like a whole shell of what he was. He was, he was a skinny needle of a robot. Like, and he had tiny legs. They made yeah. him shorter. <laughs> and, 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 uh, and of course, I know he's a part of history, but that wasn't exactly his best. Look. I mean, like, dude, if you ask me, when they brought Toonami back, so when you look at today's Tom, like, here's the current Tom, right? Uh, yeah. This version that they brought back, uh, which is the one from. From, that was the previous Tom, not Tom 5, it was, not Tom 4, it was Tom, was it 3, I think? This one was, uh, this one was, I think, th this one, I think he had like a, this was like 4.5? Yeah, 4.5, he had like yeah. a more beefier, kind of, kind Yeah, he was of, beefy, he was a Yeah, muscle. and he had the helmet again, the, the face helmet, which yep. is cool. So yeah, that yeah, was... Yeah, that, that definitely gave him a little more buff. Yeah, and then the new Tom doesn't look bad either. The new one doesn't look that bad. Yeah, I mean either. he lost a little weight. He looks a little skinny, but still, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, well, also he, he looks. He's been working out. He looks a lot like the Daft Punk uh, uh, guys, right? Yeah, right yeah, now? yeah. The current, the, the, the current Tom, like, like the uh, 2019, 2020 Tom. But dude, do you remember? So, and not many people probably would remember this, but do you remember this version of Toonami with Moltar? As oh, the host? Yeah. That's Moltar. Dude, I can't remember the voice of Moltar, but someone, one of the actors did the voice of Moltar. It might have been Sunny Strait. I don't remember. That was way back in like the ocean oh, dub yeah. this, days. Oh yeah, this was like, yep. This yeah. was back when they showed the ocean dub of um, And also that's when, what's his name was still alive, the actor. The member, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kirby. Kirby, yes. Yeah, Kirby. So he did oh, a great man. job as Goku. Re yeah, rest in peace, man. Not only that, he was also the original. Um, oh, my uh, camera's shoot, dying, Dante. Oh, hmm. what, what was his name? Um, for, uh, for who? For what? For Inuyasha. Oh, Moroku. Yep. The, yes. Yeah, you know who does that now, Dante? Um, you know who took over that? Who it is? The same guy who does. Um, it's the guy who does Whis. Uh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shoot, what's his name? Um, Ian Sinclair. Ian Sinclair. Yes, Ian Sinclair. Thank Sinclair. you. I couldn't oh think of his gosh. name. But yeah, he took over that role. And it's funny because you and I both said. We, uh, I said to you, I think we were watching something with Ian, and I was like, hey, I was like, doesn't Ian sound very similar to. Uh, to Moroku with he his, does. and it's funny because like that, like next week he got announced as like the, <laughs> the imitator for. Oh my he gosh, got, I, I the actor, that. He got the part for that. 
from Heroku. So it was funny because we kind of, we kind of, I did an Instagram video about that and uh, he got announced for the thing. But yeah, dude, there's a lot of stuff that the OG Toonami, right? Dante, as a kid growing up watching Toonami, yeah. that I will never forget that is kind of drilled into me that's kind of a part of me and will always be a part of me. Definitely. Um, because of stuff. So, dude, remember, so let's see here. Let me go back into... Um, which I feel like a lot of people have been, a lot of fans have been complaining, asking Toonami to bring back shows. And, um, and that bring, bring back shows and also bring back segments because I think yeah. that um, even though, even though four hours may seem like a long time, some fans said that I don't think that four hours can really... Yeah, can cover it all. Well, compass all that Toonami truly is. True. And then also there's, there's a lot of, so we have to understand guys that when Toonami first aired when it first came on um that was the first time that, that there had been like an action block right for you know for cartoon network um and so what they were what they did right by airing a lot of anime was kind of introducing uh introducing people to anime for the first time right um and they did a great job because a lot of you know something about that by the, the way they introduced it really stuck with a lot of fans it did it really did um, so now I think when they brought it back, dude. When did Toonami went off the air? When was the when it when did it end? Finally, um, what was the date that it ended? The first time it went off the air. When shoot, it, I'm trying to remember the exact date, but I'm thinking it's like somewhere between like 2013 and 2014. Yeah. So. But then there was like, well, well then of course it was like strong fan reaction. Yeah. It was like and then a whole petition to bring Toonami back. back. Yeah, and there were people that had dedicated YouTube channels to bringing it yep. back. Um, so then when they brought it back, I think what happened was... Well, actually, before they brought it back, what they did... They, they did a teaser. They did the, the April Fool's yeah, teaser. April Fool's, yeah. <laughs> where they kind of almost had, like, the original lineup, in a they, sense. They did. They played... So, okay, so here's the story of that, okay? They played the... Uh, they played... So they brought Toonami back for one night to its former glory. The bumpers and everything. It was dubbed... The night no '90s kids slept because they that exactly was, that was on that was on Twitter. Steve Bloom posted that, and so did a lot of other people. I remember remember jumping on Twitter that night, or some, one of the social media seeing that. And I didn't even have a Twitter account at that point. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, dude, it was pretty cool. I don't think I slept a wink that night. No one did. Yeah, if you're a '90s kid, you never yeah. slept. So, and dude, so that's the other thing too, where I feel like they messed up when they. When they brought that back, right? When they brought all their shows back, they should have left a lot of the, that original content in there, and then just added in some new shows. Well, I think, dude, that's that, that's what I, that's what I was talking about in, in regards to the Midnight Run, because I think out of all the out of all the time slots that they've had, the yeah. Midnight Run was probably like the best one because it was the longest ran slot. They had more options, true, had more shows to put in, and they could actually have like an even balance between old shows and new shows. And new ones, yeah. If they're able to bring that Midnight Run style programming back, I think that not only would that, you know, bring in some old school and new school fans, I think it would probably like kind of really boost it'll it'll kind of really bring that nostalgia factor back that I feel like that people are that people that, are missing, that people yeah. Kind um, of feels like it's missing. I, I see. I would have said that to bring back Peter Collin, but or it's I know lacking. I know that is impossible to bring back Peter Collin since he doesn't do that type of stuff anymore, right? Um, and I do feel like yeah, he's pretty pretty big, pretty pretty, uh, pretty well big. known now. Yeah. yeah, pretty big now, so it'd be hard to bring him back. But um, but I mean, like Steve Bloom is still back, which everyone's grateful that Steve is oh, there. Yeah. Like it, Tsunami wouldn't be anything without Steve Bloom. <laughs> well, not, well, not just Steve Bloom, but also yeah, DeMarco and, and yeah, Demarco and everyone else who made it. So yeah, I mean like. Oh, dude, remember Yu Yu Hakusho? Oh, I remember. <laughs> um, no, but yeah, this is one actually one of my favorite promos for Yu Yu. Oh, yeah. Detective of the Spirit World. <laughs> I remember seeing that commercial, too. What is the living realm of the dead? I think they also said for Yu Yu Hakusho, they, they uh, dubbed an OVA that so never got the, dubbed for the, the first time. The, some of the, do you know that some of the best lines that Toonami ever had, right, uh, were the original Toonami? Because if you look at some of Steve's lines that wrote for him back then, like, yeah. th there's some things that he just said that were just awesome. Some of the things they wrote for Tom to say was, was just, it was just cool. Oh, man. You know? Yeah. I, I he, I mean, I he still has good ones. Don't get me wrong. They still write some good ones today. Like, he still has a couple good promos Not only today. that, but I also, uh, I also love, like, the, uh, the the inspirational messages. Yes. Yeah, they were... Because they, those, uh, those inspirational messages no, have, gotten through, have gotten me through, like, some Oh, yeah, times. some hard times. Now, dude, uh, Especially those, growing up being those, bullied. 
those messages oh, yeah. haven't changed much. They still do a lot of good inspiration me inspirational messages even today. Oh, dude. Oh, Take yeah. Baroni Kenshin. Yes. I almost forgot that he was a part of the lineup. Never. Yeah, and never kill again. I love this promo. One of my favorite promos. See, dude, I used to like the show, and dude, I wish this would be. This is one of the shows they should bring back, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would if love they, to they, see if it. They bring that Midnight Run In song fact, back. in yeah. fact, dude, I'd even go further as to say bring Samurai X to Toonami, which is the the backstory of Kenshin. Um, so Don't you guys, old backstory or just the backstory? It's his backstory. It's before he became a Ronin Kenshin. Be, well, before he was, before he had the reverse blade sword. When he was when he had his title as Batosai, oh, yeah. that's what Samurai X talks about uh, is his backstory before he when he was the when he was the Batosai. Die Batosai! I love that. It's oh, yeah. awesome. You are truly a manslayer. I love that. Oh yeah. Anyway, there's Gundam. So yeah, I mean, dude. The, the, so that's what I'd say to go further. Bring back. Um, bring back Roman Kenshin, but also air Samurai X, because Samurai X is not that long. Right. The story's not that long. And there is a, as far as I know, there, I think not all of it is dubbed, but there is a good amount of it that it has been dubbed. Um, and people would like that, both new and old fans could, if you're an older fan, you could watch for uh, you could watch for Romy Kenshin, right? Yeah, you could because it would air on Toonami, and then you could also watch for new fans. You could watch Samurai X, which is the backstory if you haven't seen Romy Kenshin yet. The other thing too is that, and, and I want to kind of say this is that the original Toonami Dante when yeah. it aired, and also the OG shows they put on Toonami gave you a good idea of what anime is like and what to expect from anime because you had all the classics. Right. Some of the classics. Um, Whereas anime today doesn't really give you a good introduction. It's just goofiness, right? There's a lot of goofiness. There's no really yeah, lessons yeah, the taste, in the shows. The, the taste it's, it's is very kinda, different. Yeah, yeah, the taste has changed over the years. Um, whereas when you watch Cowboy Bebop, Fullmetal Alchemist, or any of those classics or DBZ, right? There's always something. There's good and evil. There's a there's a lesson to be learned somewhere in the show. It may not be it may not be obvious, right? Right. But there is something to be learned from the the series, right? Oh, you know, yeah. Cowboy Bebop with right and wrong and all that, all the, the criminal stuff, right? And True. the whole revenge thing with Spike getting revenge on, uh, what's the villain's name? I can't think of his name, Dave. Mm. Uh, I can't think of the bad guy's name, but yeah. So yeah, guys, um, guys if you know the villain's name, you know, just give us a... Yeah, we, we haven't seen Cowboy Bebop in a while. It's been so, a while. Yeah, and Full Metal, so it's been a long time. Yeah, Phil um, But Full Metal Alchemist is another one they could bring back, because they could do Brotherhood, and they could also air the original one if they wanted to. Uh, maybe not have them on at the same time, but or the same, not have them on both the same time. Maybe air well, one and then air the Brotherhood is one, actually yeah. the correct one. I would say bring, probably bring back Brotherhood, right? Yeah, Br Brotherhood might so, be the correct. Yeah, that's yeah. the correct one. Um, but yeah, dude, there's a lot of things like now, dude. And it's funny because when I watch Toonami now, the only thing that keeps me watching Dante is the memory of the OG Toonami. That is literally and the nostalgia factor. That's the only reason I watch right. Toonami these days. Um, some of the new shows are cool, but really, honestly, to be honest, I could watch the new shows anytime with streaming services being available and uh, with anime being kind of worldwide and being able to watch it on multiple streaming site streaming sites. Well, and, dude, and I mean, if, if you know me, you I kind of treat I kind of treat anime the same way I treat music. The new stuff is good. The new stuff is nice, but ain't nothing like the classics. True, true. And dude, I think people feel the same way. I mean, dude, that's how I kind of feel with films. When you watch uh, films, you can never the, the good classic film, right? Right. I, I, I think as I think well, as you got yeah. older, your taste in anime has changed because you know, you're you're definitely so used to things being put together. Yeah. You kind of kind of have like a you know like a progressive story, and a lot a lot of night a lot of classic '90s titles did give us that. True. That's true. They did. Um, but I feel like, dude, dude now to people are so like I feel like the the, gen, the new generation you're definitely you're definitely seeing a shift in where the community is going. A shift, kind, right? kind of like a shift in qual and, quality. Yeah, and some people don't really understand uh, why they're watching anime. You know what I mean by that? You know, they're watching yeah. either for a certain they're watching for a reason that is that's a little bit different. Not, yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's definitely different. It's, or it's, they have a different reason gotta, for watching. Right. Um, and dude, I feel like that's where. And I, was, I mean, not not to. It's like, not that it's not, wrong. Not to pick on anything. Yeah, it's not that it's wrong. Right? There's no yeah. problem with that. If you you everyone has their reasons for what they do, right? Which yeah, is if you great. love it, they're like go yeah. for it. You know. Um, but uh, I feel like some of us old timers should kind of give you guys a, yeah, some of our, some of us older fans, oh some of us who God. grew up with tsunami, should kind of I guess go into detail. What are we about, anime boomers now? <laughs> not that. Oh, dude, here's one of my favorite pro. Uh, 
shows. Because when you said because when you said old timer, like and this is the one I really wish they'd bring back. Uh, which is which is zero zero nine. Oh yeah. Cyborg zero zero nine. Accelerate. I like that. It's been a while since I've seen that. Yeah, I, well, I watched the movies recently. Oh, yeah. So, but that's what I think like I should bring back. Cyborg 009. Beyond Todd. Beyond oh, yeah. Beyond uh, Trent. Oh, don't forget about Transformers Armada. Yeah, Transformers Armada. But so, anyway, back to what I was saying about the fans. Um, it's not that it's wrong or, 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 or anything like that. You can watch stuff for your own reasons, right? It, that doesn't really matter. But I think that if people knew why and better understood, uh, why you should watch anime and also some of the reasons that kind of that, that we had for watching anime I think right. you get a better understanding of, because I mean uh, to, 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 there's more to it than just watching it for fan service or right, watching it because right. you're going to escape reality there's more to it than that yeah know? because because I think Toonami's influence the impact that it has on the fans at the, you know old midway new everyone's in the, the you know the way that it had it it was different it's different for everybody yeah, it is. So, I mean, like, for us, it brought us that... It kind of... If you think about it, Toonami kind of introduced me to anime. I it never would have found anime had it not been for Toonami. I probably would have found it eventually, but not as quickly as I did if I had watched... If I hadn't watched Toonami, I probably would never have found it as quick as I did. Yeah, I actually um, I actually remember finding it around, like, but see, But see, my reason wasn't... My reason for watching Toonami wasn't what you think. A lot of it was... Uh, actually, the stories, and then also because you actually, you actually, you actually learn something from a lot of the stuff. It told a story, and it told, um, it, it connected with you in a way where where you could understand and it explained a lot of things. But also, it taught you something right, because you learn something from the, the the characters that you watched on TV, the way they didn't fit in or. They struggled in life, or they had dysfunction in the family, or whatever. Or you learn something from that. There was always a lesson or, or some kind of message baked in there that you actually got, you actually it resonated with you, and you kind of learned from it. So it wasn't because you just wanted to escape your reality. You actually got something out, something more out of it, a deeper connection and a meaning from it that you couldn't get from, say, uh, a movie or anywhere else. Or like current American cartoons. Yeah, or current American cartoons. And you have to remember that also that during that time period, uh, it wasn't easy to just turn on the internet and watch uh, anything you wanted. There's your yeah, uh, because back then the 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 in, you know back then the internet was still in its like infancy. it was still it, yes. it was still kind of like a baby. Yeah, it was still very young, and you couldn't just go. And there wasn't but so much you can do with it. Yep. There's your Transformers, uh, yeah, Transformers Armada. Armada. That takes me back, dude. I saw a preview recently for something. They're going to bring back this show, I think, or try to. I saw a preview, and it was better animation than I saw. So, mm. um, Yeah, out of all the Transformers I saw, that one that was, was the best That was one. the best one that I remember. And, that, and that's Peter Cullen from when he, when he... That was later on in his career when he did Optimus. Because he started in the 80s, Dante, doing Optimus Prime. Yep, I, I read I about that. Because um, uh, Transformers has been around since the 80s. It's been there a long time, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, so... Yeah, it's like our reasons for watching, and we might elaborate more on our reasons for watching. Anime Eventually, we will. We will probably in like a future podcast, or who knows. Yeah, but this we knew this was going to be a big topic, so be prepared if this episode. Yeah, is a so long. this one's going to be an extended yeah. episode, a little extended from our thirty-minute slot, like yep. we normally do, because you know we're big fans of Toonami, and I'm pretty sure you guys are big fans of Toonami. So again, I would say if you guys like have any memories or have any. You know nostalgia moments from your favorite block or you know whatever show that you watch yeah let during us know that time you know definitely let us know put it in the comments and hey if you got any links to those videos throw them in there too yep so uh, oh man so yeah uh, I was definitely saying that you know to all the fans um, if you guys have any memories or you know any memories of Toonami, any, any memories of your shows or nostalgia well, so, factor? So, Dante, what was your, what's your, like, one, what is your best memory from the two thousand from back in the 2000s? And mm, my best when, memory? So, wow. like, dude, there's Samurai um, Jack. The, the, oh, yeah. Besides Samurai Jack. Yeah, what um, was your best, uh... I would say that my best memory would probably be, um, I guess the first time I was introduced to anime, I think. Well, like, dude, now how was like, that? Like my was first it, show? Was that... I, was, was, I wasn't really sure when I was watching it first, but then yeah. as I kept watching it, it got really interesting, in a sense. And well, I was wait, like, did, I guess, you, did you get introduced through it 
uh, from watching Toonami directly, or did you, like me, find anime through watching, like, Digimon or some other thing on another network before Toonami aired? Because remember how, remember I told you that I watched something before uh, right. Toonami, which is called Super Saturday, which actually we have here. I might play some of it for you guys. It wasn't through uh, Super yeah. Saturday for me. Okay. I think it was, um, I got a birthday gift for, like, my 10th birthday. Yeah. And, um... I guess only because I used to watch cable at my grandmother's house during that time. But the yeah. birthday gift was um, I lo like my very own cable box for my bedroom. Yeah. So I would just turn it on. I would always turn it on to the Cartoon Network Cartoon Channel. And then and all of a sudden, watch. this programming block came on where the animation that I saw was very different from not what I was like used to seeing. Yeah. And a show called Tenchi Muyo came on. And oh, so I, you I, was, got, I wasn't really sure. So you got introduced to Tenchi Universe, huh? Yeah, Back yeah, in the day. yeah, it was. And interesting. After like watching the first episode, I mean, it was kind of interesting, but at the same time, I think that was also the time that I kind of saw my first inkling instance of fan yeah. service when I was only ten years old. Wow. So yeah. You mean uh, boobies and boobies? Well, well, actually, and I was, well, actually, more like, well, actually, there was that bikini scene. I was, I was oh, remember. okay. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was like, like. I think the first I time I time. think I got introduced to uh, like the fan service side of stuff was I think for Dragon Ball Z, I believe, when Bulma, like when Master Roshi sees her nude and like you see uh, that yeah. from her skirt, but yeah, her underwear. Jeez, um, and, so, I, yeah. and also and also Dragon Ball. Yeah, Dragon like, Ball, yeah, that was... 1985, like, uncut. Um, there, there, there was that lava scene. Because I don't remember... Well, Sailor Moon, actually, before Dragon Ball, because I remember seeing some Sailor Moon... No, actually, that was around the time of Dragon Ball, because they were airing Sailor Moon the same time they were airing uh, Dragon Ball on Toonami back in the day. And then yeah. also they aired... Adult Swim aired Sailor Moon 2 before that, and Cowboy Bebop and stuff. Inuyasha aired on Adult Swim originally before Toonami got it. A lot of people didn't know that, but late at night, Dante... Was that, that was, I think, my first full exposure to anime. Yeah, was, yeah. Uh, Adult Swim, real late at night, they would play uh, Inuyasha. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Um, I remember. And uh, what else? They'd play... Um, um, they would play... Uh, what's his name? Vash Stampede, which yep. is... Uh, which is... Shoot, what's his name? Um, Trigon. They play Trigon, Fumar Alchemist, Inuyasha, uh, Big O, and like a bunch of other classics. And that's kind of the first time I really got a sense for what it yeah, really was. And then I started watching, shortly after that, I started watching Toonami. Now, there were also on, certain so. titles that I watched that weren't actually on Toonami. In fact, they were on a new programming block that Sci-Fi called Anna Monday. And Yeah, well, there's also the, there was also, yeah, Anna Monday, but there's also their, like, gore night where they had really the most yeah. horrifying shows on the Sci-Fi channel. In fact, that's actually how I was introduced to Gurren Lagann. I never would have found it had it not been for that. Really? Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Gurren Lagann, I think I watched on... I think that was when did I, I can't remember when I got introduced. There's Inuyasha. Oh yeah, Inuyasha. the classic Inuyasha. Yeah. Oh man. Um, the Jewel of Shaw. And I think they, I think they might have brought back uh, most of the original cast. They did, but I think some people aren't yes, alive some, anymore. Yes, some, some so, people yeah. changed. I know. And some people passed away. So yeah, he's like, yeah, it's worth the pain. <laughs> That's terrible. So I think, see, that was when Adult Swim did it. Yeah, yeah. Remember this one, Dante? Dash the sand beam. Yeah. Once you hit their hands on, it's going to take a whole lot of bullets. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, dude, I remember, see, I remember watching this back in the day. This is like when I first got introduced to anime was through Adult Swim. Yeah, Master Stampede and Adult Swim. Trigun. Yeah, Trigun. And it's funny because, dude, at first I wasn't a fan of all the shows that Toonami aired, and also that Adult Swim aired, but then over time, as you watch Toonami... <laughs> I like Lupin. And over time, as you watch them, you started to gain fandom to them because yeah, you, did. you started liking the stories. Yeah, and I, th I think that was actually the case for me. Yeah. Like, like when I when I first started watching it, I wasn't really sure what I was watching, but then I started watching more of it, more yeah. of it, more of it, and pretty soon I ultimately became a fan of it. Yeah. So. Sadly, it was hard to find other fans that were like fans of it growing yeah. up during that time because yeah. there weren't a whole lot of kids watching uh, yeah, they anime they as much as yeah. I was. Well, dude, back then it was a very small thing. It was a niche medium. There weren't many people yeah. into it. Here, the conventions weren't very big. There was very few people who actually got into it. Oh, big O, here's the commercial. Yeah, program. and also back then we didn't have DVDs. 
We had no, we didn't. Yeah, we had you VHS had, tapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And back also, when, like when Blockbuster was still around. And also, it was difficult to record shows. Like, dude, you had to like set your VCR. Yeah, you, know, you didn't have DVRs. You couldn't. You couldn't record it. You couldn't just go into DVR and record it. There yeah, was no you, such you thing as DVR. You had to get an empty brick. Which only recorded about two episodes. Oh yeah, there's Super there's Saturday. Super Saturday. See, I might show this on camera, guys, real quick. Here, let me. Yes, yeah, so we're. Tonight at seven, Cartoon Network's lining up your favorite action stars back to back to back. Pikachu, Jackie Chan, Professor Xavier, and even some your parents know. Good versus evil, man versus machine, and the best friends a guy can have. Blake. Seven hours of the greatest action cartoons on the planet. All on Saturday. You show up, we take care of the rest. Only on Cartoon Network. Yep, it because is. if you remember the original Thundercats, oh dude, I remember the Thundercats. I'm talking about the one from not 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 the new not the 2011 one, but the yeah. one from the 80s. Yeah, yeah, the good one. Yeah. Well, dude, some of that. Well, dude, remember the the, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 80s? Yep. Like, dude, I used to like that. And also, even the one from the 2000s was really good. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Goku, right. uh, Dragon Ball. So, dude, I also missed this. So that's the other thing I was gonna get into, Dante, is that Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network back in the day, right, introduced us to a lot of anime back in the day. And not all That's of it, true. not all of it was Japanese anime. Some of it was done in America here. Right. But still, like, they did introduce us to a lot of stuff back in the day. And Cartoon Network itself has changed so much now. They're not doing anything like that anymore, you know? I mean, it's good that Adult Swim got it. It's good that Adult Swim still does it. But, dude, like, there's a lot of stuff that people today, right, people listening to this podcast, will never get to see, never get to experience. Well, right? not, 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 not the, uh, not the younger generation. Not unless yeah. they look for it. But not, exactly. Not, not, not unless you look generation. it up on YouTube. Yeah, or not, not unless they look it up. Research. But unless you actually yeah. lived it, yeah. you, you'll, you'll never really get that experience. Yeah, it won't be the same. Yeah, and it, I think, it just won't. And just I think that's why same. so many people are angry with Toonami, with fans are angry with Toonami, because they remember growing up they remember what it was, was when they grew up with it and they kind of want that nostalgia factor yeah a lot, a lot of back. us old, a lot of us old schools you know? yeah old see, school see how I'm not talking about us old timers <laughs> yeah well old timers old schoolers just don't call us old dude <laughs> I mean technically we are dude look look, I'm look I mean I'm 32 right dude so and I'm mean, only a year behind you yeah you're 31 so yeah I mean we're still old compared to the new generation yeah you know but you know, so. it's different time to look at it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still like old schoolers though, because old timers make me feel. Really I mean, so dude, the other thing too, I think that plays a part with all this is that dude, you have to remember, anime went global, yeah. which is a big thing too. That global, plays a part. mainstream. Yeah, mainstream, and yeah. Um, so yeah. So dude, what do you think? Uh, do you want to do final thoughts or closing thoughts on this? Well, one? dude, I was gonna ask you what your final thoughts were. Well, on everything as a whole. Okay, so here, I'll give you my my thoughts to, for everything, um, and I'll go back to Toonami's promo, some of Toonami's promos, to, to yeah. Dragon Ball promos. Yep. Um, so here's my overall thoughts, guys. Um, Toonami played Toonami and all of the action shows and all the action stuff that was aired on Adult Swim and also. Well, not on Dustin, but on Cartoon Network and also on JetX and all those other stuff that we grew yep. up with watching, right? Played a huge part in my life and uh, also in the way that I look at things today. Um, so if I had to say something, it's that don't give up on Toonami. Definitely. Uh, even if the nostalgia factor isn't still there, the same people are still working on it. And also, it's still Toonami. Like, you don't want to see it die, because if it right. dies a second time, it's not it gonna... may not co ever come back. Yeah, it's, 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 um, it's, it's not like the Dragon Balls. Yeah. We, we, we already used the wish already. Yeah, exactly. So. so, no, it may never be the same as it was, and they may never bring the, the, uh, the, the Yu Yu Hakusho and the nostalgic stuff back, but, uh, but they, they just might. If, if you hang in there and you, and you, and you keep watching uh, and it sticks around, they just might bring something. They might put a little nostalgia in there somewhere. Or if they can just, know? or if they can just extend their block. Yeah, even if they can make their block longer, you know. Even if it's only like an hour longer or an hour and a half longer. Yeah. Because I mean, it'll, even, it'll give them more options, you know. 
Yeah, it would make it better. Um, yeah. And that would be... Yeah, like, even if, 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 if they could go from from midnight to 6 a.m. again, that would be amazing. Uh, I used to like that. Oh, yeah, definitely. So. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would probably say that, you know, again, my final thoughts are kind of parallel to yours. Um, Toonami has actually, you know, been a really crucial part of my life, you know. Uh, like, dealing with bullying in school, and I didn't really have a whole lot of friends who liked anime as much as I did. Yeah. It, it was kind of like my safe haven. It you was know, where you it, fit in, dude. Yeah. And that's what, yeah. And, and at that time, there wasn't there wasn't anything like that. No, there wasn't. So. It was like something totally different, something like, yeah. not really off the grid, but it was like something that was a bit different, you know, to what I'm used to It watching. was a community and a place where you could kind of be yourself, but also. Exactly. You could also kind of fit in. But that wasn't the only reason why we gravitated towards it. Um, I, like I said, I liked the stories and the, the, the stuff that you learned from anime. Um, because of the lessons and the stuff. Now, when I say learn from, I don't mean like try to go out and be the character and do everything the character yeah. does. No, no, no. That's that's taking it the wrong way. Exactly. Um, what I mean by learn is there were certain certain things in, for example, the Miyazaki films, where they were talking about you know being kind, or they're talking about uh, respect, or they were talking about uh, you know just uh, just say uh, something as simple as your teamwork or a, uh, or a getting along with people, right? And there were little messages in there that you yeah. could pick out that were a, meant a lot, that were a big deal that you don't get from a regular, you know... You don't from, get it from yeah, regular from a, American cartoons. Yeah, American cartoons. Cartoon. Like today with, the, what is it, the, the gumball? Oh, my God. It's so well, again, yeah. again, that's that's <laughs> for a whole you know. different generation, um, which so, is something we'll probably get into. Yeah, we won't touch on, but the, the, the same kind of, that same kind of lesson and that same kind of uh, detailed integration that detailed integrated story as well as the lessons and the um and the messages that to, that the anime has you don't see that in, in in american cartoons today um so that was a big part of the reason why i got so into it and then also the community right. because it was such a niche thing at the time uh and we were both pretty much outcasts right yeah we were we kind of related to some of the stuff that uh that Tsunami had but the biggest thing too is that even if you don't like what's going on now, don't let Toonami die a second time. Exactly. Um, and that's the biggest thing. We, as Even though we have our issues, we have our problems with Toonami. And we're not the only ones. And I'm sure a lot of other fans do as well. We're not the well. only ones. Um, you can't let it die a second time because it may never come back. And that could be the end of action cartoons on... And on, nobody on, wants yeah. that. Just like what happened with the Looney Tunes where they got canceled. Some yeah. people got canceled. But... So, yeah. But yeah, guys, uh, I think for us, that'll pretty much... Well, dude, I'm going to yeah. wrap this up in a way that yeah. our fans are going to like. So oh, let yeah. me skip ahead here. Thanks for watching. Right, Dante? Yep, thanks for watching, guys. So guys, thanks for being a part of this. And yeah. until next time... Stay nerdy. Till next time, stay guys. Stay awesome and stay safe. Peace.